bowling for Columbine, Marilyn Manson. Michael Moore edited the interview in a way to make it seem like Manson was doing most of the talking. I believe this worked well because it seemed genuine that Manson has not influenced anyone to take critical action. I believe that this interview style is very laid back and informal by the way Marilyn is sitting. Foot placed on armrest that Michael and Michael was sitting on. Michael Moore uses open questions such as what would you say to the kids of Columbine? We can see from Manson's face that he was not nervous to answer the question and then he responds, I wouldn't say anything, I would listen to what they have to say and that's what no one did. There is also irony between the president and Manson when they blame his rock and roll songs. This is because there are many artists that create this type of genre and Manson has spotted out and blamed due to his appearance. Michael Moore makes sure that he is positioned lower than Manson in the interview so it gives Manson a sense of dominance in the interview. He also states why they would blame him because of his appearance. I represent what everyone's afraid of. This is by the way he dresses and the makeup on his face. He admits that his face is easy to throw on TV, but it's unfair to do that because it's classed as discrimination. The edit also makes the protesters seem bad because as soon as the protesters say something, there's more clips of Manson resolving their opinions and makes the protesters look wrong. The religious protesters also chose to take the matter very serious because in one of his songs he says I'm not a slave to God that don't exist. This gave them a reason to take forth the situation and find other reasons to get him done. Us as an audience can believe that he is innocent too because there are no questions asked after Michael Moore didn't seem suspicious like the interview he had with James Nichols. Manson even states himself that the president is a bigger influence which makes them seem more believable and genuine. Michael Moore becomes investigative and interviews Marilyn Manson to talk about his past career to gather information about his potential influential kids in Columbine. The interview shows us that Manson is innocent. He allowed Manson from what he had to say and listened to his opinion seriously. He also allowed Manson to talk over him in some parts of the interview. Jeremy Paxman, Hard News Another example of how the language in the interview indicates hard news is when Paxman says, but you said that it wasn't certain that cutting fuel duty would have a positive effect on families or businesses. That was on 23rd of May. Now what's happened between the 23rd of May and today, which is what, the 25th of June? They're obviously talking about an important topic as we can see in the part when he says, cutting fuel duty would have a positive effect on families or businesses. They are having a discussion about politics and the economy which suggests hard news. He shows and keeps a competitive style by having an impatient manner towards the interviewee and by Chloe Smith not being able to answer his direct questions and her not giving answers that he wants from her. This competitive style often works because it sometimes gets Chloe Smith to almost bring out the answer of the question but not fully so it works sometimes but not all the time. However, he sometimes interrupts and asks the same question repetitively so that she slips out the answer to the question that Paxman asks her. Smith says to Paxman that she cannot tell him the ins and outs as it would be inappropriate. This is another example of Paxman being competitive, again because he then straight away quickly asks a direct question to Chloe Smith saying, why is it not appropriate? However, the main interview style that comes across is the adopted technique of being competitive. We can tell as an audience that this is the main interview technique that is used throughout the interview because of Paxman's attitude and the tone of voice that he uses when responding to Chloe Smith. At one point in the interview, Paxman asks Chloe Smith a direct and open question aimed at Smith saying, when was the decision taken? In which then Chloe Smith answers very vaguely, which resulted in Paxman interrupting her midway through her response, repeating the same question in a manner where he wants to respond and give a clear answer to the question. Furthermore, Paxman responds in this sort of manner because he is trying to suggest or imply that she doesn't know what she is saying or she doesn't know the purpose of her presence or the topic that is being spoken. However, she does know but doesn't want to give away when and what the change in policy was as we can see from her response. There is evidence where I can suggest that this is a hard news where Chloe Smith replies to Paxman saying it would not be appropriate. And then he responds by saying, you are coming here to change the defending policy, in which is a hard news subject and is serious. We could tell from the language that is used in the programme that it, this is a hard news programme because of extreme strong formality that is used in the speech of the people in the programme. 
also the subject that they are talking about, politics. If we listen closely, we are able to hear that there is no use of colloquial language or any use of non-professional language used in the program, which also suggests that this is a hard news program. The use of terms in the program also suggests it is hard news. For example, Jeremy Paxman states to Chloe Smith, You've come here to defend the change of policy and you can't even tell me when you were told what the change of policy was. This suggests that this is hard news because we can obviously see that the subject of the interview is important. What also clarifies that this is a hard news program is that it is a very detailed and in-depth interview with hard-hitting questions and sensitive topics being covered. Furthermore, the questions that are thrown in at the interviewee are extremely strong questions about an important topic. The issues that are discussed on the show are usually based on politics. The fact that the politics is being spoken and serious issues are being discussed, this also suggests to us as an audience that this is hard news. The suit and tie. This dress code is usually used on formal occasions. By addressing like this, the audience will instantly know that this is a serious discussion and what the tone of the discussion might be. The setting also implies that this is a hard news interview because it is privately recorded in a studio that is the right and professional way and place for an interview to be recorded. In the interview with Chloe Smith, the conversation between the two shows us different skills and interview techniques that are being used throughout. Newsnight is a BBC2 hard news programme about the latest going on in politics. Aired daily, guests will be invited on the show to be interviewed about latest po policies and developmental changes within politics. An interview which took place in 2012 about the decision to delay plans to increase fuel duty was a great example of how this particular programme adopts a hard, hard news style. By just watching the interview, we can tell that the interview was a hard news interview due to many different reasons. We can tell from the setting that the, sen that the interview is a hard news interview because of the formality. As we can see in the interview, they are both dressed in a very sensible manner and a formal manner, in which then this applies that the interview is taken extremely seriously and to an extent is important.